What's happening, everyone? We're back in the wrestling room for another episode of Headlocks and Hot Packs. And uh, today, we will be taking a look at some basketball cards. I've had uh, a couple of eBay things show up, and we're going to look at one of them as we check out 1991 Starpix Pro Prospects. Complete 72 card set. It's a. Uh, aim down here as we will be busting into these there we go and as you can see on the back there this is the year uh, Larry Johnson was the number one overall draft pick I believe Kenny Anderson was number two maybe I can't remember I think he was number two he was up there anyways uh, so the main, obviously the stars of this year, you've got uh, Larry Johnson, Luke Longley there. He won championships with the Chicago Bulls. Steve Smith, longtime player and former All-Star with the Atlanta Hawks, I believe. Uh, some good years in Miami as well. Uh, I think that's Doug Smith of the Dallas Mavericks. And, of course, Kenny Anderson. And uh, this also is Dikembe Mutombo's rookie year. I would imagine that he is in this set. Um, kind of odd that he's not really promoted on the front of it, though. You would think that he would be. And this is sealed. This here was kind of picked at. I picked at that a little bit. I wanted to see if I could try to peel that off, but it uh, looks like I'm just going to have to cut it. And the interesting thing about this set, this Star Picks 1991 Pro Prospects basketball set may contain at least one original authenticated autographed card. So... That would be pretty cool if we could pull an auto um, of maybe like Larry Johnson or... Oh, as I knock the camera over. I knew that was going to happen eventually. That would be pretty sweet if we could pull an auto, though, of, uh, you know, Larry Johnson or uh, Dikembe Mutombo would be pretty cool. Even Kenny Anderson. Uh, Kenny Anderson, former Boston Celtic. Of course, he was drafted by the New Jersey Nets. He was an all-star as well. And the 94-95 uh, season, that was the year after Michael Jordan retired for the first time and went to go play baseball. Let's see here. Let's see if this will cooperate. There we go. Of course, if this is your first opening of mine that you're watching, I do try to... Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. So the box, I didn't realize it was going to do that. That's, uh, that's actually pretty cool. Opens up, and then we have on the back, that is Derek Coleman, Rookie of the Year. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, I do try to preserve the boxes, just, uh, I think they look kind of cool. And we still have the paper on there. Oh. Oh, I thought that was gonna be an autograph, a salute. Star picks picks first. They faked me out there. I thought that was gonna be an auto. Looks like we've already got a little small ding there on the first card. And let's how are we gonna attack this? And we're going to attack this very, very, well, I guess not that carefully, but so you can see it okay there. So what I will do, similar to uh, if you saw the video about the WCW Hell cards, is I will, I have a number of small little binders. Oh, that's, that is completely... That is completely stuck to the checklist. Oh, oh, I hate that sound. And there's definitely a bend there. I'm not sure. It probably was from the paper. Let's see. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, don't like that sound. Well, that's okay. It's only... David Kaplan. So, not very good packaging, as you can see. We've got paper lost there. P 
paper loss there on the David Kaplan. And that is card number one. So that's kind of a bummer. And it looks like the paper has also kind of bent these cards up a little bit. At least the first couple. Well, regardless, still cool to have. And I think I only paid like $4 in free shipping. So there's Derek Coleman, 1991 NBA Rookie of the Year. Treg Lee. If you're not familiar with these star picks, these are all college cards, of course. Rich King, he was with uh, Seattle Supersonics. There's Kenny Anderson. Let's see. So they, they do stay in numerical order, it looks like, which is good. I have bought sets before, and uh, they do not come in numerical order, and it's just kind of a pain. John Crotty, Utah Jazz. Mark Rando. Chicago Bulls. A little bit of sticking here. Not too bad, though. Kevin Brooks. Uh, I want to say Denver Nuggets, maybe? Lamont Struthers. Actually, does it say who was drafted? In the back. Christopher Newport College. Never heard of that. And does not give who they were drafted by. Flashback, Tim Hardaway. Eric Murdoch, Milwaukee Bucks. Melvin Cheatham. I think he was... I believe he was undrafted. Pete Chilcutt, uh, Sacramento Kings. Zon Tabak. The name sounds very familiar. Cannot remember what team he was with. Greg Anthony. Longtime analyst, New York Knicks, George Ackles, again another name that sounds familiar, Stacy Ogman, actually I think Stacy Ogman was the number two pick that year to the Atlanta Hawks, I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments, there's Larry Johnson, the number one overall pick out of UNLV, national champions, uh, he was highly, highly touted of course, going to the Charlotte Hornets. Alvaro Tehran. Reggie Miller flashback. Uh, odd colors. I'm not sure where they got those colors from. Because those are not Pacers colors. And uh, he went to UCLA. So for some reason he's wearing Phoenix Suns colors. There's Steve Smith. He had a great career. Something stuck to him. Sean Green, Indiana Pacers. Johnny Pittman. I'm not familiar. Uh, Anthony Avent, I believe he was drafted by Milwaukee and then traded to Orlando or vice versa. The Gatling Gun, Chris Gatling, Golden State Warriors. Uh, Mark Macon, Denver Nuggets. Joey Wright, uh, probably undrafted, doesn't ring a bell. Same goes for Vaughn McDade. Not sure. Uh, UWM, is that William and Mary? Uh, nope. Wisconsin of Milwaukee. Bobby Phils. He had a good career. Uh, uh, tragically passed away early. Uh, I believe it was in a car accident. Um, I think it was while he was still a member of the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, drafted by the Cleveland Cavaliers, though. Larry Fleischer, Hall of Famer. Mm, not, not familiar with that name. Who is Larry Fleischer? 1991 was inducted posthumously. Brought his concept of collective bargaining. Uh, so he was involved with the NBA Players Association. Kind of odd for him to be in a college card set. Luke Longley, drafted by the Minnesota Timberwolves before making his way to the Chicago Bulls, where he had his most prominent years. There is Doug Smith. Pretty sure he's uh, Dallas Mavericks. Chad Gallagher, or is it Gallagher, as in Gentleman Jack Gallagher, maybe? Marty Dow. Tony Farmer. John Taft. Probably no relation to William. 
from Reggie Hansen. Terrell Brandon, he had some good years. Uh, I believe he also made an all-star team as a member of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, also played for the Milwaukee Bucks. And there's D. Brown, Boston Celtic. Uh, of course, he's most known for winning the slam dunk contest in 1991. So, of course, that's a flashback. And they put this odd logo on the front there. First star picks. Never quite panned out to uh, be what people thought maybe he could be. Uh, Doug Overton, uh, Washington Bullets, I think. Joe Wiley. Myron Brown, I think that's uh, Sacramento Kings. Steve Hood, I think that's also Sacramento Kings. Randy Brown, I believe also Sacramento Kings. People probably most remember him uh, as a member of uh, those Chicago Bulls teams with Rodman. Chris Corkiani, I think that's how you say that. Uh, Orlando Magic. Kevin Lynch, uh, Charlotte Hornets, I think. Donald Hodge, uh, pretty sure that's Dallas Mavericks. Bradford Smith, Washington Bullets. That's a pretty cool shot there. Sean Kemp, uh, once again, for some reason, in Phoenix Suns colors. So I guess Star Picks did that to avoid any possible... Um, I guess lawsuit from other card companies for producing NBA quote unquote like cards. Brian Shorter. How tall is Brian Shorter? He's six foot six, so he probably doesn't want to be any shorter. Gary Waits. Mike Isolino, Dallas Mavericks. Leron Ellis. Um,. I can't remember what team that was. Bullets, maybe? Perry Carter, Ohio State. The Ohio State. Keith Hughes, Rutgers. If he was a football player, Bill Belichick would draft him. John Turner, uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, I think. Marcus Kennedy. No clue who that is. <laughs> Randy Ayers. I'm starting to think. Randy Ayers, Coach of the Year. I'm starting to think that there is uh, no Dikembe Mutombo in here. 1991 All-Rookie Team, Doug Smith, Larry Johnson, Luke Longley, Kenny Anderson, and Steve Smith. So, same as the back, as what we saw on the back of the box. Presenting at one forward. That's, that's kind of cool. They read it off like, uh, like the announcer over the PA system, introducing a starting lineup. Which is kind of, kind of neat. Jackie Jones, not sure. Sean Vandiver, Vandiver. Dale Davis, he had a pretty good career. Uh, probably most known for Indiana Pacers. Jimmy Oliver, he, uh, former Celtic. Didn't spend much time with them, I believe. He was drafted by Philly. Elliot Perry, some of you might remember those goggles. Elliot Perry of the Phoenix Suns. Uh, also played for the Clippers for a number of years. Jerome Harmon, not sure. Darren Chancellor. Roy Fisher. There's definitely no Dikembe in here. Rick Fox, another Celtic, and uh, UNC Tar Heel. I don't really follow college hoops too much. Uh, of course, sometimes I will do like a bracket every year for March Madness, but I've uh, kind of always followed North Carolina. Uh, so when the Celtics got Rick Fox, I was pretty stoked. Um, from what I remember, anyways. Uh, for as stoked as I was, he probably didn't turn out to be quite what... Uh, he could have been, but he had some good years, and he won titles with the Lakers. Hit some, hit some clutch shots. Kenny Anderson. Once again. Anderson's amazing achievements. Richard Dumas is how you pronounce that. You might pronounce it another way. Uh, but it is pronounced Dumas. He was a member of of the Phoenix Suns. Uh, I believe he was on the team when they had their run to the NBA Finals in 1992-93, the year that Barkley won the MVP. Uh, so, yeah, again, as you can see, there's definitely some some dings to some of these cards, but I mean, for four dollars, it's a complete set. It's not something I'm really looking to flip, and I'm just going to stick it in a binder, and then once in a while I'll look at it. Uh, but as we found out, no Dikembe Mutombo, so 
That is why he was not pictured on the box. Uh, I wonder why that is. I would have to look into that. Or uh, if you have any information on why there was no Dikembe Mutombo in the 1991 Star Picks Pro Pos Prospect set, uh, you can let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'd love to know more about it. I also do have the 1990 Star Picks set. Uh, that is in a binder somewhere. We will be taking a look at that at some other time. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. As I drop the camera again, get it together. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Headlocks and Hot Packs. And uh, we will see you next time. If you have not yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We really do appreciate it. We will see you guys later.